diversifying its economy. Even though oil and gas production are still very important, the sector now accounts for only around a third of the country's GDP. Sherry Jamkhu has more. Addressing a session of the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development at the Rio Plus 20 summit, Sheikh Alibna underlined the UAE's commitment to sustainable development, which shapes the country's domestic policy and international cooperation. During her speech, she explained that the UAE is proud to be part of the global effort to enhance sustainability development. The foreign minister says the UAE has made great progress on economic development. Our purpose was to show the reality of the UAE in terms of growth and diversity of sustainable energy and sustainability of the environment itself. There are a lot of programs that have been successful globally in this field in the UAE. Since the first Rio summit 20 years ago, the UAE's economy has grown by over 400 percent. The foreign minister says that, more importantly, the country has made great progress in diversifying the economy base. Oil and gas production, while still very important, now accounts for only about a third of the GDP. She also highlighted that, on the social front, the UAE is now among the top 30 countries in the world as measured by the UNDP's Human Development Index. She also spoke about the active role that the UAE has taken in the empowerment of women. Twenty years ago, women barely formed 10% of the workforce. Today, around 60% are in employment. We've also seen the UAE progress in this conference, and the UAE has gained attention and raised awareness about the UAE's achievements in the fields mentioned earlier. Environmental protection has also long been important to the UAE. Well before the first Rio summit, the UAE has set aside significant areas for conservation. But today, clean energy is a central part of the UAE's development strategy. The UAE has concluded on the topic of sustainable growth and put clear guidelines in regards to that it hopes to decrease the carbon footprint and is focusing on diversifying sustainable energy. The UAE has adopted the first mandatory building efficiency codes in the region and mandatory efficiency cooling standards. The UAE is building Mustar City, a world-first low-carbon urban development powered by renewable energy, clean energy and efficiency technologies. The experience of countries like the UAE provides practical positive examples of what can be achieved in 20 years. Meanwhile, to continue international dialogue on sustainable development taking place at the Rio summit, the UAE has announced the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week. It will be held between the 13th and 17th of January 2013. The week will provide dialogue platforms that will address sustainable development. The UAE is invading and empowering others to build a sustainable future, building on the legacy of its founding fathers to deliver on promises today. Sherry Jamkhu, Emirates.